vegetation very on that rock. There's some mosses, some grasses, some ferns, some flowers, and all the way up to those trees. They're able to grow on this rock because of that lichen creating that first layer of topsoil. Now lichen can only grow in a clean air and clean water environment. So if you have lichen around you guys where you live, uh, you're very lucky. It's super awesome. It's a good teller for sign that you have clean air around you. Now, lichen is also the major food group for our mountain goats. So they're the major food group to our mountain goats in our park, uh, the lichen is. And so unlike most animals in our park that go out of the park down south to get out of the winter and the cold, these mountain goats are actually climbing up to the tops of our peaks. Now, some of our peaks are about 10,000 feet high, pretty tall. And they're going up to the cliff sides of these peaks. That's because that's uh, where the wind blows the most and is blowing off all that snow and exposing all the lichen that's on the rocks. So they go there to eat the lichen. And some say, some say that goats like lichen lichen a lot. Right? <laughs> and that's because they do. <laughs> say that five times faster, right? <laughs> So these mountain goats are built for climbing these mountains. Uh, they have really short legs, especially their hind legs are really short, and they're really strong shoulder muscles. I love That's awesome. Yeah, they're really cute, but kind of funny looking animals. And during the winter, they actually have massive uh, fur. They have about a thick, a thick fur, about eight inches thick uh, during the winter. Uh, so they're big fluff balls that are climbing up to our mountain sides, and that keeps them warm, right? But during the summer, a lot of them just shed all that fur off so they don't overheat. Um, but they're also starting to like our antifreeze from our cars, especially in the Logan Pass area where the cars are sitting all day. And because of this, we have hired our first bark ranger. Her name is Gracie. She's a dog. She's a Australian sheepdog. And what she does is go on the trails that are populated by humans, especially in the Logan Pass area. It kind of barks and scares away these mountain goats from these areas and kind of makes them go back to their natural habitat and eat all that lichen again. Um, so if you do see Gracie, say hi for me. I still haven't met her yet, but I've seen pictures of her. And she's absolutely adorable. So who here has seen a glacier, a glacier national park? 